As they say, the greatest gift you can give to yourself is a little bit of attention. While wondering how to get ready for an event or special occasion, Zuena goes to meet Shainaz at Atmosphere Spa in town to get her nails done and face makeup. Hi, welcome. How are you, Zuena? I'm good, I'm good. How are you? I'm good, thank you. It's a beautiful place. Oh, thank Can you. Can you show me your room? Of course. Uh, come, let's start with the nail section. Uh, this is my nail section. She is immaculate. She is the one who does the nails. She's, yeah. she's very good at it. And uh, after this, we move to the hair section. Um, here we do hair coloring, cuts, um, styling, all related to hair. Is, is it any type of hair? Yeah, we do all type of hair. We do African hair, we do Muzungu hair. <laughs> yeah, so all type of hair. Nice. Yes. Uh, and then we move to the spa room. Um, yeah, this is the spa room. Yes, here we do waxing, facials, um, everything related to the spa, uh, body scrubs. Yes, I don't have a um, um, shower area, yeah. but uh, yeah, we manage to do massage, um, waxing, facials over here. Uh, that's the facial equipment uh, which we use for um, uh, African skin has a lot of problems with right. uh, acne. Uh, scars so there's a high frequency and galvanic facials that we use for that kind of skin but otherwise we have uh, for different different skin types that's really interesting given the fact that i also have issues with my hair you will have to explain to me more about that but today i'm going to an event and i want you to make me look beautiful oh you already are but let's do a fine tuning to it yes yes Shall we? yes please um, you can have a seat here. Okay, what we are going to do today, right. let me help you with this. Okay. Uh, so I see you have a lot of um, facial hair over here. So right. what we'll do is we'll trim your eyebrows first and then do a bit of makeup and then you're all set to go. Interesting. Okay, start? so let's start. Can relax your head mm -hmm. so as you are about to do my brows mm -hmm. how long have you been doing this for oh it's been like 18 to 20 years into this field right. but i have explored um, uh, different aspects of this industry like i've been into um, actual practice then um, doing management uh, marketing so I have explored all the aspects in this beauty industry. So it's a long time now. Nice. And I want to know, how do you choose spas for a spa? A location? A location, yes. A location, selecting a location, see ideally would be, you know, you need to be in a busy area. You also need to check if it is uh, convenient for the clients. Right. Uh, parking space. You need to be in proximity with the uh, competitors because I don't believe to stay far from the competitors. Yeah. Uh, so yeah, you need to have all these aspect, aspects considered before you, uh, you know, select a location. And also keeping in mind that it should be clean. It should be, you know, client should feel more relaxed uh, when you uh, go there. Right. So all this was in my mind when I was selecting a location. Now, can you please uh, give us an exact meaning of spa? Because we, okay, myself, mm -hmm. I understand the spa as a place where you just go and relax. True. What would you define a spa? How would you define a spa? Uh, a spa, originally, it meant a location where you have, you know, mineral spring water. Right. It was used to treat, uh, you know, uh, giving medical baths. But now with time it has changed and it obviously like how you consider a spa is where people go for relaxation, going to do different therapies. Right. But um, yeah, now it has evolved into uh, getting professional services done in a spa including massage, facials, 
manicure pedicure it depends what domain you are in is it health it is beauty it is indulgence it 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 varies from different oh my god you are <laughs> sorry already crying crying <laughs> yeah it hurts a bit but then yeah you'll love the results while shainaz was doing zwena's eyes bro zwena had some curious questions to ask now tell me you're threading my eyebrows, right? Mm -hmm. And it's pain so much. Yeah. But what's the difference between uh, threading using a field and using a blade? Yes. Both see, you can get shape. You can shape your eyebrows with whatever means. There is tweezing. There is blade. There is threading. But with threading, the only benefit is that you have clear eyebrows, which right. is very precise. You right. can define the shape, and it doesn't grow that fast. You know, you you. You're sorted for a month. Yeah. With blade, you just have to do it again in a week or maybe three days, four days time. And what happens with blading is you only remove the upper layer of the hair, like right. from the skin. But it keeps on when it the hair follicle is inside, it keeps on adding and adding. So it it becomes a thick, and then it comes out as a. Uh, acne or it comes out as uh, yeah, ingrown so the best way to do your eyebrows is threading and it hurts my god <laughs> i'm sorry <laughs> it's, it's definitely okay mm. beauty comes with a price <laughs> <laughs> most definitely now um can you give us uh some few advices on how to take care of the skin because Sometimes when the weather changes, mm -hmm. our skins also tend to change, but we don't know how to take care of it properly. I would say for myself is I get like my skin mm -hmm. uh, dries mm -hmm. and it peels off. How do you think we should take care of our skin? That is a problem of mostly everyone uh, right. living here with dryness. Yeah. So the only um, uh, solution to this is you need to take proper care in terms of your daily beauty regime right you should be um, you know doing a lot of moisturization right um, scrubbing if required because you know this makes your skin look very ashy right you know when you have this uh, dead skin on your face right. so you need to do basic cleansing toning moisturizing and a sunblock which is very important. Nobody uses sunblock here and that is the yes. major uh, problems for all your skin ailments, you know, uh, be it uh, hyperpigmentation, acne, scars, everything is the one reason is you don't take care of your skin and second is, you know, it's sun. Because I think we believe that black don't crack <laughs> and even if we go under the sun, we don't need to use uh, yes. one. But then, uh, you know, b black don't crack, that is true. But instead of wrinkles, you get these breakouts because, right. you know, we are under this myth that because of the melanin, you know, you don't uh, have wrinkles, but you have other skin problems, which are, you know, even worse. You right. might get skin cancer if you don't take care of your skin because you're exposed to the sun. And, uh, you know, it's even worse over this part of, uh, you know, um, all African countries. Like right. if we go to other parts where there is no sun, it right. is much better. But then... A sunblock is very important. Now, speaking of skin, makeup, and whatnot, um, what would you advise us, ladies especially, on how to take care of our skin, especially after or before applying makeup? Before applying makeup, as I said, you have to follow a beauty regime. You have to cleanse your for, uh, skin because if you don't cleanse and do your makeup, you're going to have this clogged pores, right? Right. So you need to do a basic cleansing, moisturizing, and then you put makeup. Obviously, if the makeup is containing sunblock, then it's no need. But if it is no, without sunblock, you have to add a sunblock. And, and then never sleep with the makeup. That is the only advice I would give after makeup. You have to cleanse your face thoroughly, remove every part of your makeup before you go to sleep. I feel like you're talking to me right now because I never sleep with makeup. <laughs> See, I told you. Everyone sleeps with makeup because they get so lazy. I know with your work, you are so busy that at the end of the day, you just want to go home and sleep. But make sure you remove your makeup. Ya do siga tu gasaneza, ni rin
And since we're talking about spas, how do you think a person should take care of their body? With body, you know, there are many, uh, what happens is like, if you have a really busy schedule, you don't sleep. Right. So I would always recommend people to get a massage done. One hour of massage can be four hours of sleep. Right. It is that relaxing. So you can, you know, have a massage once in a while. You can go for body scrub because again, your body is, you know, uh, it also has dead skin. So it will help you to remove dead skin. Right. Spa therapies have existed since the classical times when taking bath with water was considered as a popular means to treat illness. The practice of traveling to hot or cold spring in hope of affecting the cure of some aliment date back in prehistoric times. A body treatment or spa is non-medical procedure to help the health of a body. It's often performed at a resort, destination spa, day spa or beauty salon. <laughs> 